Musician Photo Journal. Today joining me is Mark from Nothing More. Welcome. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Uh, it's been a little while since we've had a chance to sit down with you guys. I think it was Johnny last time. Okay. But um, you guys had just finished doing, I think it was the uh, Mr. MTV okay. uh, video. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, it was really a long time. You guys had so much has happened since then. You guys literally toured around the world. Yeah, I guess it's been then. a year since then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that so. was on the Sleepwave tour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we got to go to Japan and Australia and a uh, whole huge Europe tour. Um, yeah, it's been, been crazy. Things have been really, really going well. That's so, awesome. Really blessed. It's very happy for you guys. We yeah, really, yeah. And you're a fun band to watch live, so it's great to watch you grow. And a matter of fact, we just saw you a couple weeks ago when you did the k rock out in Syracuse. Oh, cool, cool. That so was it was so fun hot. to see. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very hot day. <laughs> yeah, even being from Texas, it was so hot. Yeah, yeah, we were sweating. But did you have more of the dry heat where we get more of the, the moisture or something? Uh, or is it still just, it was brutal? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it was weird because it was like overcast at the beginning of the day. And then like all of a sudden it got super hot for our set and then it started raining later yeah so yeah it was, it was a strange day yeah it was but it was, it was, it was still a blast yeah yeah, yeah. great, great you guys fest. did great too yeah. it was fun so thank you um but when you guys did the, the tour like wasn't it in japan wasn't there something that happened just before you guys got there as you guys got there like a um big earthquake or something was that anywhere where you guys were shoot i can't recall i feel like i should um it seemed like there was something, but obviously it wasn't where you guys were then, because you were right, covered. right, yeah. Well, we were we were totally safe. I remember all the uh, the Malaysian Airlines stuff was kind of going on, yeah. And actually, um, yay, manager, we totally booked us a Malaysian air flight. I'm I'm not saying anything against that airline or whatever. I'm sure it's all a big uh, mystery still or whatever as to what happened. Um, had to be a little nerve wracking. Yeah, just yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we, we went from Kuala Lumpur to London, so that was yeah, all all on that airline. It was just kind of funny. We were yeah, a little nervous. Yeah. <laughs> and then like in Australia, did you guys get to do anything fun there? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it was it worked out well. Actually, the owner of this bus used to tour manage for Carnival, mm -hmm. uh, Dead Letter Circus, Twelve Foot Ninja, and. So he is an Aussie, um, mm -hmm. and it worked out timing-wise that he needed to go back there for some personal reasons anyway. Uh -huh. So he decided to kind of tour manage the Soundwave run for us. Oh, so that was, that was really cool, and just like visiting anywhere, it always helps having a local to, you know, take you to the spots. So okay. you're not just shooting in the dark. Right. So, so that was really fun. It was, mm -hmm. it was a good time. We actually got to hang out with some of the Dead Letter and Carnival guys, mm -hmm. some of their big big uh, favorite bands of ours yeah they're so fun. sick yeah very yeah. <laughs> cool. it looked like you guys had fun and then recently here you guys just finished a tour with shine down uh-huh and it looked like you guys had some kind of pranks that were played last <laughs> day <laughs> yeah yeah i really wish we could have uh gotten them back but uh we yeah, we didn't think about it in time yeah they they got uh they got us pretty good the last day there was baby powder all over uh paul and johnny's drum kit oh. uh, <laughs> as as well as nerf darts fired everywhere they modded their guns though to where it like actually hurt a little more i think someone had said that they had saw them soldering them or yeah, something yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it was, it, was, it, it was strange as well as they removed all the symbols on um, the last song from johnny and paul's kit so it was, <laughs> uh, it, was it was all in good fun we, we had a blast and just just couldn't stop laughing and smiling oh. as uh, we're <laughs> trying to finish our set <laughs> so we can get off stage <laughs> Did you guys couldn't think of anything quick to get him back then? No, it was kind of uh, last we, minute. We, yeah, we, well, we actually had planned something. This is a little maybe gross, um, but it wasn't really like an on-stage thing. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. but uh, the the Dick Tal episode, it's <laughs> it, it's it's, it's kind of silly. But we we ordered four of the actually three of those, and one was a. Uh, female uh -huh. you know, genitalia <laughs> and we were, we we're gonna give them to them but it didn't arrive in time so uh. fortunately there is there are some more dates that we have with them that haven't been announced and so we will hold on to the towels <laughs> and deliver them later so watch out <laughs> hopefully they don't watch this right yeah, yeah they'll probably know what we're getting them by then oh, by then so. you'll get it back so you don't no, know <laughs> probably uh, I, I think they'll enjoy it <laughs> it's tonight we're catching you in albany as you guys are heading back down uh, yeah yeah down to texas. texas yeah yeah and then you guys are starting to kick off a new tour 
yeah, we have a month off, and then um, we're really excited to do the the Monster Outbreak tour, mm -hmm. sponsored by AP. Um, it's going to be really, really cool. Marmosets and Turbo Wolf, along with Separations, will be joining us. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a really sick lineup, and we're hitting a lot of a lot of cool markets. I wish we were going a little more west and doing the Northwest too, yeah. but it's kind of mainly sort of a Midwest and Northeast and Southeast. Yeah. So it'll, it'll still be awesome. We're really psyched. Yeah, and I think you guys are actually coming back to Syracuse. Yeah, yeah, playing the Lost um, Horizon. Yeah, I got um, the date. I think it's September 23rd. So. That sounds right. Yeah. But, so yeah, definitely you guys will, especially if you saw Makara, you'll have to come out. Please <laughs> do, please do. <laughs> and then you have the I Know Jenny campaign that you guys have going on too, and then mm -hmm. part of that tour too, you're doing like some packages where you can do the bus meet and greets and definitely we, we've always been a very personable band with right. our fans and everything um, so I guess the only way you know a lot of bands are starting to do these VIP packages and everything mm -hmm. to where you get to watch sound check and you know hang out with the band and come on the bus and you know have a beer or something with us yeah. um, for a little bit and it it made a lot more sense to us if it's we sort of partnered with charity yeah. so everything that we had going on um, with uh, Bring Change to Mind, Jed Foundation, to write Love on Our Arms. Mm -hmm. um, it worked out really, really well, and, and we've raised a ton of money. So we're, we're really excited yeah. um, that, that people, you know, have, have been so generous and donated yeah. and into, yeah, ending the stigma of mental illness. Right. Definitely, you've been raising a lot of money with all of that, and even like the Pledge Camp, uh, Pledge Music thing, you already met mm -hmm. your goal and surpassed it. And totally. There's still, I think there's some t-shirts that when I looked at it this morning left, or it's not too much, but right. you definitely have been going there. Yeah, so. it's been a huge success. Very yeah. grateful. And of course, a lot of that that sparked it was your song, Jenny, but the reason behind all of that. Can you, I don't know how much you guys go into it, but can you? Totally. Um, yeah, it's, it's more... Uh, you know, a little more Johnny's story, right. and it's being his sister. Um, but she basically had a big sort of spiral down, uh, paired with Johnny's mother having a long battle with cancer. And um, li like any teen and adolescent, you know, you have your, um, your 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 phase to where you you know maybe make some bad decisions right. and everything but this was kind of more than that and um, when they, they realized that you know um, she uh, had bipolar and uh, part schizophrenia um, really we we just want to I guess you know you get help for the people that suffer with these mental illnesses and really the best analogy Johnny has put before is said you know if you see somebody with a physical you know disability like uh, you know somebody in a wheelchair you know, immediately you know open a door for them help them out right. um, but if somebody has a broken brain it's you don't know right away and you just think they're an asshole right um, or you shun them if they oh know. totally yeah and, and it's not right it's like how you said it is something physically wrong yeah. just because you can't see it doesn't necessarily mean so so that's the whole point of this we want to keep this conversation going and bring yeah. it up to the to the server and the stigma of of being able to talk about it right. um, there there shouldn't be a stigma attached so no it's it's bad how people react and people are, totally so. it's, it's very sad yeah I love that you guys have this campaign and it's going and it does bring a lot of awareness and I think even like the song because it deals too with I think at least my interpretation of it is kind of like how Johnny deals with his sister as well going through it because totally it, it I feel bad for her and I hope she's doing very well but it also affects everyone around you it's not just there's many sides to you know, yes whether I, whether it's I mean like her mom having cancer that was a whole thing on the family as well I'm sure I, so yeah. well you you're right it, it just it affects us all and I think that's the point we all have somebody or multiple people that we know that, that suffer from mental illness and a lot of them aren't getting the help they need mm -hmm. um, so that's we want to change that do you know how she feels about how it's blown up kind of so it, to speak it's or? it's a little um, uh, she's for it and then sometimes not for it mm -hmm. but that's kind of who she is mm -hmm. um, she's still kind of um, 
not I'm doing sure so hard. Fit. It's good and not good and. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm sure she's very proud of you all though for doing as well as you have with it and what totally something and positive that's coming out of that it's just right. her own battle is personal and we don't need to get into that totally and we, we wanted to stand behind Johnny as um, you know he really wanted to be as personal and honest with this as possible which mm -hmm. that's totally his decision this is family this can get you right. know, get hurt feelings and so right. we had a conversation with her and you know they, they, they talked about it and um, so yeah that's this is where we're at now yeah but it's definitely in the video too is mm -hmm. something he did he wanted complete control right yeah that? yeah yeah it was mm -hmm. he was really uh, passionate about his vision and mm -hmm. sticking true to you know the story mm -hmm. um, and we, even in the other videos uh, with mr. MTV like you were talking about right. and this is the time you know Johnny did help a lot with with the editing and mm -hmm. uh, a little more hands-on um, type of guy when it comes to you know, video production and stuff um, so yeah he really wanted to take the leap with this one and mm -hmm. we trusted him we know that at the end of the day it's gonna be great mm -hmm. it's gonna take a long time but <laughs> it's it's gonna be it's gonna be great so we're, mm -hmm. we're really proud of him yeah I think last time when we sat down because um, people were guessing still at that point what the new video was going to be mm -hmm. and he was saying for Jenny he really wanted to take that time nice. to make it so yeah and it came out great so it's yeah, really, yeah. It's, it's a very good song period but thank you the video came out really good too, yeah so. it, it sure did yeah we're definitely happy with it um is there um because I know it's been out for a little bit do you guys have something else coming up in the hopper for that for a new single or are you guys going to start writing more or what's we, coming we up? do we do um it hasn't it's kind of between a couple songs right now mm -hmm. um but there will be another one mm -hmm. after after Jenny so we're excited for that and it'll probably be I think probably pushing um more along the lines of the outbreak tour that time frame I think um mm -hmm. We haven't totally dived into um, like video treatment um, mm -hmm. as much for the we we need to nail down which one it is first because <laughs> right. we're a little back and forth. So, but yeah, there there will be another video. Very cool. And when we're just talking about all that, you said how Johnny does like the video part, and then Daniel does a lot of the the welding and mm -hmm. the, the stuff that you see on stage. Mm -hmm. Too. Is there stuff that like you and your drummer also? Yeah, ab absolutely. Have, we all like you each have your right. We yeah, we all try to um, you know spend spend as much time you know working. This is a job. Obviously, right. we you know we we want to have fun and enjoy our lives too. Mm -hmm. But in the same way, just next to uh, Mrs. Camera Lady over there, <laughs> I just have a computer set up and a little recording rig, and uh -huh. I just kind of been getting ready for the next album and um, documenting a bunch of ideas, getting the sessions started, mm -hmm. getting all the markers and So do you do a lot of the place. writing then part of the... I'm more responsible for bringing stuff to the table uh -huh. and then we, we all believe in the um, collaborative band mentality mm -hmm. but I'll kind of start everything you off. You get all the ideas. Yeah, yeah, and like here's my builds. arsenal. What what's good, what's not good. Let's go from here. Let's let's talk lyrical concepts and mm -hmm. let's be real. What are we all going through? Right. All that. Yeah. Yeah, cuz it's a group effort. In the definitely. End of the day, so. Definitely. Very cool. So you have a lot going then over there that you're recording? Yeah, yeah, it's it's going good. Uh, I should finish one more uh, demo by the end of this tour. So hope we have a day off tomorrow, so hopefully I'll get a lot done mm -hmm. um, doing that. Uh, there's just, so that'll be just five demos kind of on this tour that kind of brought together. So that's good. Yeah. Just slowly, you know, uh, we, we just want to make sure that uh, given this next album that we have enough material started already and not be kind of taken by surprise yeah so just yeah start preparing yeah no no it, when the, it hits you too you gotta to get it out totally so. yeah yeah so, um when the times last time when we did the interview with johnny i know people had left comments and mentioned about the scarifications that you guys have on your arms can you tell us about that too? sure yeah um, yeah, Dan and Johnny have these scars as well. When we first started the band, um, we wanted, um, it was really important to us that all of our commitment levels were, we were all on the same page, basically. Mm -hmm. And some people do tattoos or 
blood contracts or I don't know. We, we decided to um, brand ourselves mm -hmm. basically for each year of touring and we, you know, as you see there are only three, we would be at ten by now. But <laughs> we, uh, three was a significant number so we, we mm -hmm. stopped at that and um, it, it has a deeper meaning kind of with um, um, in, in Africa, uh, like Dr. Livingston, um, it basically each tribe would have their own scars mm -hmm. and um, you would basically show each other like, oh, that's cool, he's, he's part of this tribe, he's got my back type of thing. Yeah. So when, when he would approach tribes, you know, he would roll up his sleeves and he'd have all these scars. So it was kind of like a bonding to each other mm -hmm. into um, really unifying us together that this is, you know, we know why we did this type of thing. Right. So, yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you. And now yeah. you can answer. <laughs> well, now you have your tour coming up, um, mm -hmm. and that goes to the mid um, October. Do you guys have any plans after that? or? We do. I can't say what mm -hmm. it is yet because it hasn't been announced, but mm -hmm. we will be out um, up until Halloween, basically. And then we have a uh, couple weeks off and then we'll do one more European stint uh -huh. um, but a headline run so I'm, we're all really excited to do that over uh, in Europe uh-huh oh, yeah God. yeah that'll be cool I get to uh, be, be in Europe from birthday so that'll, that'll be fun it'll be a good time yeah, last time you guys went was that Hellstorm that you went with that you were opening yes yeah yeah, yeah in March and April yeah they, that was a blast it was cool we were with them and Wilson and mm -hmm. both of those bands along along with us or, we really felt we had this camaraderie of sort of grassroots bands we'd all been doing it for a really long time mm -hmm. and we'd all grown it and done the whole bar scene and um, there's there's just an understanding and a, and a respect that kind of comes from that. So that was really cool. To, and then they, they all kick ass live. So they're all really strong live show bands. Cool. Um, so, but that's coming up then in after October's Europe. Thank you. Oh, bless you. Felt it coming on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be November, December uh -huh. um, time. So work up pretty much the end of the year then. Yeah. And yeah. then the one that's, after this tour into I can't say too much but it's North America so yes definitely yeah say. okay cool well, we'll definitely have to keep an eye out for that yeah then. please do <laughs> um I think that's it that I have is there anything else that um I think we up? mentioned everything yeah yeah okay. talked about the tour about uh yeah Jenny um yeah the acoustic okay. version of Jenny is kind of spinning on octane right now um we may have um an iTunes release for it. I think we're working on that right now. Was that when you guys, was it recently they had you guys? We did the takeover with them. Uh -huh. We'd actually, at the beginning of this tour, we, on the way to the first Shine On show actually, uh -huh. we stopped in Baton Rouge, our good friends of Presonus, they have uh -huh. a kick-ass studio. Uh -huh. um, so we just went in there and did a live recording, but you know, with good acoustics and, and mics and gear. Um, I mean, it was really just, two vocals and then a guitar mm -hmm. um, but it was it was a good room so yeah got got a you know did three run throughs and then mm -hmm. that's it and we're, we're really happy nice. um, with the product and it seems to be going well so anything that you might be releasing that then you're I'm pretty sure yeah yeah because so. it, it looks like everyone's really digging it and wants to have it so yeah <laughs> Very cool. yeah um, well, thank you so much for joining yeah, us yeah. today. Thank uh, you for having me. Uh, Cheers. <laughs> Once again, it's Mark from Nothing More. Uh, their current album is self-titled. Um, remember to always support your artists and buy their albums. It's been a video edition of Musician Photo Journal. Yeah, yeah.